Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Hey, stop right there. So there's a guy, he's walking south on Billy Street near the mass farm. Stop, I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. His words tell a story. No, I am an introvert. Please respect the boundaries that I am speaking. Elijah McLean is neither delirious nor agitated. Critical. Because minutes into this, and after officers take McLean to the ground, a paramedic says something that simply cannot be true. So I was excited to learn. Maybe you missed it. We'll play it again. So I was excited to learn. Excited delirium, a controversial term studies like this one say is characterized by agitation, aggression, acute distress, and sometimes sudden death. There was nothing there that says Elijah McLean had excited delirium. Dr. Bill Smock says he concluded that now let go of me. seconds into watching the body camera we showed you at the beginning of this story. That you don't even need to watch much of the video to know that. No. You just have to see him talking. I'm seeing him talking. You guys started to arrest me, and I was stopping my music to listen. McLean's words amount to proof. Put your hands on top of your head. It's the same thing he told a Minneapolis jury following the death of George Floyd. He was responsive, answering appropriate questions, giving appropriate answers. All right, what's your name? George. George? George Perry Floyd. But if they can carry on a conversation, they are answering your questions appropriately. That is not excited delirium. Not excited delirium. Not that it mattered to the Adams County Coroner's Office, which couldn't find a cause of death, yet still mentioned excited delirium, not once, but three times in its initial autopsy report for McLean. That fact has nagged me for years. How on earth did something seemingly so wrong get onto an autopsy report three times? A report we know the local district attorney used to clear everyone involved. Listen to this 2020 exchange on 60 Minutes. Did the excited delirium being included in the autopsy make your job easier or harder in terms of making your final determination? That's a good question. Uh, and the answer to that question is it made it easier um, because it, you're missing a key element to a homicide investigation. You can't file a homicide charge without cause of death. I am troubled by the use of excited delirium as a medical diagnosis. Listen to excited delirium critics like EMS trainer Eric Yeager and they'll tell Hey, stop right there. Term has become a convenient excuse for in custody deaths. Do you think there's people's deaths that have been classified as excited delirium that have nothing to do with excited delirium? Absolutely, and I think Elijah McLean's death would be uh, Exhibit A. No, I am an introvert. Please Stop. respect the boundaries that I am to. speaking. He can't watch Stop. this, he says, Stop. and conclude Stop. otherwise. Uh, whatever excited delirium might be, Elijah McLean was not experiencing excited delirium on the evening of that event. We do know a month after McLean's death, the Adams County Coroner's Office did ask to see the body camera recordings. I emailed and requested any videos of the incident, read one email we obtained in an open records request. Two days later, a thumb drive arrived. Thanks for dropping it off, wrote a deputy chief coroner. Body camera footage is crucial. Ian Farrell teaches criminal law at DU Law School. I think best practice would be for the coroner to get uh, all of the information that could be relevant to its determination. Body um, cam being one of them. Body cam being one of them, absolutely. A spokesperson for Aurora Police tells us that thumb drive contained footage of the officer's contact with McLean. On October 16th, police investigators also met with a coroner and offered the office a chance to watch the body camera footage. Three weeks later, the autopsy went public. McLean's sudden collapse is commonly seen in excited delirium. It is definitely not a case of excited delirium. Dr. Smock, who is the police surgeon for the Louisville, Kentucky Police Department, calls the hypothesis nonsense. I asked the coroner's office, did the medical examiner watch the videos Aurora Police provided, specifically the first few minutes? Stop, I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. These Turn first few minutes. Turn around. Turn around. The office refused comment. We do know this office has a history of using the term. In 2017, it concluded excited delirium killed two men who also died following police restraint. Neither case led to charges. After we were appointed to take on the important responsibility, we took it very seriously. We also know in 2021, after a grand jury examined the case, the Adams County coroner amended the autopsy report. 
This time, zero mention of excited delirium. Cause of death, most likely the result of ketamine toxicity. Just drag it right behind his ear. If he the ketamine McLean received via an injection, also clearly visible on the body camera recording. Chris Vanderveen, Nine News. Again, repeated attempts to contact the coroner's office about this case have gone engorged. Chris has found in recent years no other coroner's office in Colorado uses excited delirium more than Adams County this year. After questions from Nine News, they agreed to stop using the term in the future.